Hey guys, welcome to a uh, brand new series I'm going to try and do here, um, primarily on YouTube, where we are going to look at um, really cool vintage drum related uh, news articles throughout history. And the reason I'm doing this is because for the last couple months, I've been getting these uh, unbelievable packages from a gentleman named Jerry Ryman, who's been putting together um, something called Percussion in the News. And what this is, is a very thick binder uh, where he's going through, I believe, newspaper.com and other resources and is um, just documenting a bunch of just really cool vintage drum ads. I mean, like, look at this drumming for socialism. I mean, this is that's from 1903. There's lots of them that are like um, just your everyday newspaper and make it so you can see it uh, newspaper like ads, tons of cool stuff. Um, so I'm going to do a lot of these. But anyway, I want to keep them short and sweet. So I'm going to jump right into this one. So for the very first one we're going to look at today, um, I want to look at this awesome one I came across that is called How the Microphone Was Invented. Let's jump into this article. This is from Times Record News in Wichita Falls, Texas from July 3rd, 1927. I'm just going to read it and uh, you can look at the picture. And um, at the end, I did. I probably won't do this on other ones, but I did a little kind of fact checking. So I'll include a newer bit of information at the end after we, we read this um, awesome article. So let's just jump in and read this. And remember that this is a news article from 1927. So the grammar and just kind of the way it reads is what's written. So it might sound a little weird, um, but let's just see what happens. So how the microphone was invented in Washington the other day, there was a little celebration in honor of the 50th birthday of Mike, M-I-K-E, on which occasion Mike's inventor, Emilio Berliner, Berliner, made a speech telling how he hit upon the idea. Mike, in quotations, is the colloquial term for the microphone, which made the telephone a successful and utilizable invention. Sixty years ago, in 1867, Berliner was a clerk in a dry goods store. He had come to America not long before as an immigrant boy from Germany. To while away his leisure hours, he took upon the study of electric and the phenomena of sound. When in 1867 the invention of the telephone became known, it occurred to him that possibly sound vibrations might be carried by electricity. He bought a toy drum, cut it in halves, and used one of the latter for his experiment. From the rim of the drum head, he suspended a little steel ball on the end of a wire in such fashion that the ball was in loose contact with the point of a sewing needle passing through the disc of wood glued to the center of the drum head inside. When an electric current was passed through the point of contact, it set up vibrations which were carried along a line wire to a telephone receiver. The arrangement formed a battery transmitter. Then Mr. Berliner spoke against the drumhead. His voice was heard at the other end of the line. He had invented the microphone. The original toy drum model is today preserved in the United States National Museum. And then this little bottom bit of text uh, that goes under the photo to explain it is, is actually a really good way of summing all this up. So it says, uh, the first microphone, which was made 50 years ago, consisted of a toy drum cut in halves with a small steel ball suspended on a wire attached to the rim of a drum head. So, uh, yeah, pretty awesome old article from 1927, which really connects how uh, the drum, which, which in this case, a toy drum was used for the invention of um, a microphone, which they say uh, the microphone. But so let's clarify that a little bit here. So um, I have an article up from uh, wired.com, which is you know, pretty reputable website, which I'm just going to read um, here and we'll kind of see a little more information about what specific type of microphone this is referring to. Because again, in 1927, uh, maybe it wasn't the most uh, actually accurate um, information. So this is titled Carbon Button Microphone um, as the article. This drum like device is a carbon button microphone patented by Emil Berliner in 1877. It was one of the first ever created and by far the most usable. Berliner is credited with inventing the carbon button microphone in 1876, though there were other microphone technologies in existence. Berliner's design was more robust than the rest, including a liquid-based microphone invented by Alexander Graham Bell. 
Bell himself was so impressed with the carbon button that he had bought the rights from Berliner for $50,000 or $1.1 million in today's money so he could use it in his telephone prototypes. Unfortunately for Berliner, his patent didn't survive a legal challenge, which resulted in an 1892 ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court ruling that gave the credit to Thomas Edison, which is interesting. Um, In fact, neither Berliner nor Edison could rightfully claim full credit for the carbon button mic. The idea for it had been around for years before they began experiments, though it had never been perfected. So um, I don't know. I just think it's neat drum history stuff. There's more information about the actual microphone. Um, The rest of these will probably be a little more specific to brands and uh, really neat articles within um, Percussion in the News by Jerry Ryman, which big thank you to Jerry for sending me this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and there'll be much more, which will be even more drum focused on Leedy, Trixon, Rogers, Gretsch. Uh, There's just so many articles in here. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please um, subscribe it, like, comment. Let me know what you guys want to hear next. Um, You want to hear drum companies or uh, kind of fun weirdo articles kind of like this one or uh, anything. Let me know and I'll see if I can find it. Thanks for watching.